Hello everyone, so this is the How to Use Exploratory Series.、Uh, today I like to cover dashboard. The dashboard is a great way to、uh, put all the information together and provide s kind of various viewpoints of your business, of course, your data.、Um, but not only that, like, you can actually use it to monitor like, how the data or、uh, you know, metrics or charts are changing every day or every week. So you can actually create the dashboard very quickly, very easily, very flexibly in exploratory. So like, I like to cover Today, I'd like to go through like how to do that. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to create a dashboard and so give a name. And once it's created, like you have the dashboard, like a special editor page or editor window, and then you can start adding a chart. So you select the data frame and, and then select the chart. And all the charts and analytics are listed under the data frame you selected.、And、this time, I'm going to select you know, one of them and、I、click OK. So now the one chart has been selected. I can start adding more charts in the same dashboard. I have like side by side two charts right now. And then like, I want to add like, another chart, maybe like at the top of these two charts. So, first thing I want to do is like, I add the row. And then in that new row, like, I add the new chart. But in this case, look at this. It's like a chart is super small because the row is so small. So basically, I can click on the、um, adjustment、uh, to make the、uh, vertically distributed evenly. And then not only that, like I can use a drag and drop to change or adjust the size. And then like, I'm going to add another row to import like, some of the numbers、um, that can be used as a metric, so KPI. I created the、like, you know, number of the activities or number of the wins or win rate, that, that, those numbers already. So like, I add those three numbers. And I, again, like, I can kind of use a drag and drop to adjust the vertical size here as well. And then click the run button to preview how the actual output l o o k s like. And pretty much the same as like you're you know, doing an editor, but this is, this is to make sure that you know, the output is something that you're actually trying to get. And I'm going to add, you know, this time I'm going to、uh, click on this、uh, text icon, which is basically to、uh, create a kind of text area where you can type in text to make the comments about the dashboard or about the insights. But not only the text, you can actually use a markdown. So that, that's something like the bullet points, a bold, or header,、um, so on.、Um, so I can、uh, quickly like, edit or like, the format that text as well. If I'm okay with that, again, click the run button to preview the final output. So now I have these charts and the numbers and、uh, the comment area, and it with URL link and nicely format. And again, like I can not only the vertical, but also the horizontal,、uh, I can、uh, adjust the layout by drag and drop as well. And it looks like you know, the final output looks okay. So, at this point, what I want to do is I want to share with others and also schedule, right? So, like what I need to do is just click on the publish button and publish this dashboard to the exploratory server in a private mode so that like, I can,、uh, you know, like I have other people who are only the people I invited to can open this dashboard. Once it's published, Uh, you click on this、uh, green text to open it. So now, like, my dashboard is open in the web browser. Then, like, I can, from there, like, I can share with others or schedule and so on. So, that's it for today. This is how you can create a dashboard. And not only creating a dashboard, but also you can publish、uh, so that you can share with others in a secure way, but also、uh, schedule to refresh your data.、Um, so, so, like, up to day, every day, every week, and so on. Okay, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.